Welcome to Moonlight Shadows. This is a collective reading for the water signs. Who is doing black magic on you? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or anywhere that you have a placement or if you're just drawn to this reading, this message is for you. Now you have Hathor, 33, number 6, the number of love, celebration, rejuvenation, and gratitude. You're in this energy of just being very protected. You have some Egyptian energies here with Hathor. You are protecting your home, your family life. Um, someone is jealous of your family or the fact that they see you having a lot of good people around you that really care about you. You could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It's at a distance. Sending you spies or monitoring spirits is what I'm seeing here. It's like this person is trying to push away using the element of air. Your happiness, your love, your joy, imagination. This person is visualizing negative things happening to you with homeland. They want to disrupt your foundation, your home, your structure, whatever you feel is surrounding you with the energy of love and light. This person wants to disrupt that peace that you have with chalice and fulfillment. It's like, this is the water sign element, right? The water is cups and emotions and God is Lakshmi. It's like 111. Trust your intuition. Someone is trying to stop your happiness, your abundance, your peace and harmony within yourself in every way, shape and form beauty, fortune, and prosperity, and 28 is a 10, so it's like someone is trying to end your success within your family life, within your career, they do not want you to blossom with fertility, they do not want you to have prosperity in any way, shape, or form, for some, they could be jealous of you because you have children, or they wanted a child from you, and it didn't happen, with hex and banishment, this person is trying to just banish you in every way, shape, and form, they're trying to get rid of your blessings, it, it does, it's, I'm hearing, if it resonates, it will resonate, and if it makes sense, Great. And if it doesn't, don't apply it to your story if it's not for you. Some messages are for you, others are not. With um, the high priest, high priestess responsibility, it's like this person has a misuse of power, but you are gifted, you are divine, you know that someone is trying to harm you. Water signs, you have dark and light energies, and you do have a familiar, a guardian protection spirit here with the spirit animal of the cat. Some of you guys could have been witches, or you have spirit animals protecting you. Ritual and invocation. I'm hearing call on your familiars, call on your spiritual team, because this person is manifesting against you. This person is doing magic to try to stop your success. But with the altar here, it's like you have a lot of energies as well that you can control. And yeah, you do have a, a witch or a past life as a witch, or you have Wiccan ancestors, whoever I'm reading for, for the water signs that are protecting you. With 13, Scorpio energy, Archangel Sandalphon, which talks about music, Earth Star, answered prayers. So you're getting messages from your spiritual team through music. So listen to music water signs because that will give you the guidance that you seek on how to protect yourself. You could be dealing with an Aries Leo Sagittarius who is doing fire magic candle work to draw you to them. It's like they want to stop. Even here the staff, this energy is making me feel like this person is holding on to what they know are your blessings and they're trying to pull it to them. It's like they want what you have is what I'm getting. Very stubborn energy here. But with Thoth 34 and 7, wisdom time waiting, Akashic records, this person cannot take what is divinely guided, what is yours. You are the intuitive one. You are the intellectual one. You are the gifted one. You could wear black a lot is what I'm getting for the water signs. But black is a very protective color of your energy. They cannot take from you. You hold the staff. You will the one. You are the one who is magical, not this person. With Mary Magdalene, I'm getting there's a fire sign who is jealous of you. Aries Leo Sagittarius. This could be a woman or someone in divine feminine energy. Who feels very connected they feel like they deserve what you have and they want to take from you this person is jealous with her hand on her on her waist and she's kind of looking at this masculine like why do you have this you might be in masculine energy guy girl it doesn't matter you are embracing both sides light and dark water signs and you have someone here who's like boo hoo woe is me i want what you have this person is a karmic and they think they're the divine feminine and in reality they are not this person is trying to disrupt your balance here with a libra energy even here it's like even if you're not a Libra, I'm just telling you that's the energy that I see with the scales. It's like you have a lot of abundance and you have this person using dark magic to burn this tree or to end whatever you've planted. They do not want it to prosper. They want to kill your light. As I say that, the death card here. So this person is very negative. This person is very hateful, very spiteful. This person could have tried to put spells on your throat chakra to shut you up, but all it's doing is backfiring on them. They could have an injury of some sort. They're losing their light, and they do have demonic attachments or spirit attachments to them. Um, with the death card, Scorpio energy, which is your sign, but I'm seeing this energy as this person jealous that you are able to have such strong sp spiritual powerful gifts for, for, for. Things are happening for a reason, and this person is going to get their karma. They're also jealous of your beauty. They want what you have. Guy, girl, it doesn't matter. They're just jealous of everything. It's like they're so focused on you and they want what you have. And this person is just very negative in, in every way, shape, and form. 
with prosperity. You have light. You are protected. Your abundance, your blessings are protected. The person doing black magic is trying to change your success. They're trying to stall it. They're trying to stop it. They want to be you. With winter and prosperity, I feel like they're trying to end your happiness. They want you to be left out in the cold. That is their intention. However, you have ancestors here who are connecting with you from the other side, from the divine, the veil of the 1212 portal is open. Your ancestors are coming through tonight to help fight for you, water signs. So know that whatever anyone is doing, they're going to be stopped tonight. Is the night is that I'm hearing because your ancestors have heard your cries, your prayers, your asking for help. Even if you didn't reach out to ancestors specifically, you could have just said, somebody help me, God or whoever's around, please help me. That was the key for your ancestors have heard your prayers. Archangel Michael is protecting you. The angel of death is allowing your ancestors to come through the universe of divine it's like divine intervention to make sure that you have this happiness that you are protected and no one can harm you 555 expect significant changes in a positive way tonight is a strong spiritual battle for the water signs who are empaths or highly connected to the triple moon goddess your ancestors are also wiccans or you have ancestors who are very gifted with the moon and the cycles your ancestors your spiritual team is stopping any type of karmic intervention this karmic woman is very jealous wants to be you but with this triple moon goddess here and ancestors your spiritual team they're here they're back they are always with you i'm hearing you thought we left we never did mother maiden crone you have a deity triple moon goddess for some of you you have wicked ancestors you have ancestors that you don't even know about who are very powerful they're all here i'm hearing we never left you and they are here and they are protecting you water signs from whatever this crazy energy is, you may or may not be aware of it. I feel like the majority of you are aware. You're strong empath, intuitive healer, very gifted in some way, shape, or form. You're magical. You are a witch in one way, shape, or form. Witch, warlock, take what resonates. But your energy is that of a protective energy. And your ancestors are coming back from the dead to connect. If you have ancestral messages through um, tarot, use your tarot cards. If you do read tarot um, or watch tarot readings i'm hearing i should put a tarot reading out with ancestors so i probably will do that in the near future but know that you are protected whoever is trying to talk badly about you some of you people are saying that you're a slut or you're easy they're talking very badly they're trying i'm seeing like seven of swords they're lying about you they're trying to disrupt your reputation they're trying to give you a bad reputation because that's the energy that they're in but that's not you and the truth is going to be revealed you have divine intervention angels ancestors guides the triple moon goddess mother maiden crone you in every way shape and form will have a balance restored because the light of the divine is coming through your angels your ancestors are here to help fight for you and they're going to protect you so that's what i have for you let me know if that resonates please like and subscribe tap on the notifications bell so you get all my updated videos and thank you so much for all the support that you send to my channel i send you many blessings bye guys